Welcome back to the Redneck Cooking Channel. Today we're gonna make burritos, redneck style. Gonna wanna get your chicken, toss it up on the grill, paying attention. You're not gonna wanna miss this video. We're gonna show you all the ingredients. This is all you gotta cook. Let's get it cooked, dude. Now that you got your chicken cooking and chopped up, that's what we gotta do. We gotta chop up the chicken. Then, roasted garlic and herb seasoning. Right there. Weber, dude. Let's get it. And we gotta open up the sprinkle in. We're gonna sprinkle that stuff. Nah, we ain't opening up the sprinkle in. We're gonna pour it. Pour it, dude. All over the chicken, man. Get that stuff tasting good, dude. We're gonna flip it, do the other side. Bam! <laughs> this is useless. This right here, useless. Learn control. Now we're gonna let her cook. We're gonna chop her up and then we'll be back. And guys, one thing I like to do once I'm to the point of chopping up my chicken, adding the seasoning, I always like to add water to it because it helps steam it, helps moisten it, keeps it from drying out. You do not want to eat dried out chicken. It'd be bad. So, got your chicken all cooked up. Now you're gonna wanna grab you some, put it on there. The biggest burrito you could find, okay? Now, gonna wanna get you some black beans, dude. Them up on there. Beans, beans, magical fruit. More you eat, more you toot. More you toot, better you feel. That's a beans with every burrito. You're gonna wanna get some rice. Rice of any kind that you like. Now, we have a camper. We microwaved it. If you're tank camping, you don't wanna microwave it. You can cook it over a campfire. You could pre-cook it at home and then heat it up on your, your grill, your flat top, or your whatever you're cooking on. But you're gonna wanna shove that down in there like so. Now you're gonna wanna get you some guacamole, dude. Some guac, okay? Can't have a burrito without some guac. You're gonna slatter that on there. Make sure you got plenty of it, okay? I brought. Gonna wanna get you some diced maters and onions. It's like the key ingredient. Put that up on there. Like so. Okay. Now, you don't want that. You could use some chilies. Yeah, guess what? We're gonna use some chilies. Just a little dab of do ya. Now, I'm gonna top her up with some daisy sour cream. Not, not none of that cheap shit. Gots to be the daisies, bro. And don't do it like Taco Bell does, where they <laughs> on the ass end of it, and you go to take a bite, and you don't get none until you're at the end of the taco. You got to smooth it out across the top. Last, but never the least. Queso cheese. Put it on the top. Like that. Now, guys. My wife and my kids like lettuce on everything. And this is fine. This is good lettuce. This ain't none of that headed lettuce that tastes like dirt that the store sells. This is the spring mix. 
Best stuff money can buy, hands down. Okay? Stop buying that stuff that tastes like they dug it out of the ground. Because that's what they did. They dug it out of the ground. Now, I'm going to take her like this. I'm going to fold her up. She's a big one, boys. Do this like so. All right. All I right. bought the biggest burritos. <laughs> That's too. good. Because I loaded her, baby. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys for watching. Mm. Yep. Have a camping burrito. <laughs>